This is the Blackney Pass, a tranquil waterway in northern Vancouver Island's Johnstone Strait. These waters are a summer getaway for sea lions, humpback whales, and most notoriously, orca. Killer whales hunt for salmon here using an acoustic tool called echolocation. But the orca aren't the only noisemakers in these waters. The whales share their watery home with boats. Whale watching tours, tugboats, and speedboats emit loud sounds, or noise pollution, from their propellers. Paul Spong moved to Hanson Island in the Johnstone Strait 40 years ago. He knew it would be the perfect spot to study orcas, so he set up a research station called Orca Lab. There were less boats back then. And what we have found here uh, is that vessel uh, traffic is absolutely increasing, uh, and the amount of noise uh, uh, from vessels is increasing, uh, that is the total amount of noise is increasing, and that there are source sources of noise, uh, like uh, cruise ships for example, which are huge, and the uh, traffic from those uh, sources is increasing. Orcas hunt Chinook salmon, a species listed as threatened by the Species at Risk Act. Boat noise makes it difficult for the whales to hunt. The Chinook salmon uh, go through cycles, um, and at this point, and for the last number of years, we're in a downward um, uh, situation, I guess, generally speaking, with respect to salmon. I hear echolocation now. Yes. Volunteers from across the world move to Orca Lab for the summer. They have to learn quickly to detect the whale's calls through the drone of propellers. Yeah, I hear boat noise in the lab. If I do this like for 20 years, I'd probably go deaf. Because, you know, like, once you hear the boat noise going, make that huge screech, you know, you can't handle it and you got to take the, the headphones off. You know, it's, I know what it would be like for the whales, you know, they must have a hard time swimming dealing with this every day. Underwater sound is a constant presence at Orca Lab. Volunteers listen to whales, waves, dolphins, and ships around the clock. I almost like to think that after a while, I, I sure see it in Paul and Helena, that you get an extra sense for it, so to speak. Like, um, you become more acoustically aware, and that in itself is a whale quality. <laughs> Canada's orca populations are listed as either endangered or threatened under the Species at Risk Act. Because of this, the government made the Johnstone Strait a critical habitat for killer whales. And one would think that that designation might have the ability to, to modify or change what uh, vessels are allowed to do in the area in terms of uh, noise pollution. It hasn't touched it at all. It's a huge problem. And it, Canada's not, not alone, but I have to say that um, Canada has not even shown any signs of being interested in this problem or resolving it. This is Graham Slaughter for Canadian Geographic.